Hi guys and welcome to our YouTube channel, Alpacally Ever After Video Diaries. Guys, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the comments you're leaving. It's awesome. Please keep them coming. Ask us any questions about any alpacas or what me and the team get up to and we will endeavour to answer them and put them into these videos and you guys can take part. So yeah, thank you for your comments. So today guys, yeah, episode three is flying. We're doing really well on these videos. First day of spring and yeah, me, Ruby and Nick are getting together and we're going to be doing some toenail clipping. These are actually shear for shearing. I can't find the toenail clippers. I think Ruby's got them. But yeah, we're going to be coming down to Lizzie Hall and we're going to be doing all these alpacas. So please, yeah, take part, guys. Come and follow us and uh, let's get them sorted. Everything's in order, I see. So what we're we doing, we're getting them in. Yeah, so I'm planning on today um, with these girls here at Lizard Hall, just getting them in for a bit of what I would call an MOT, but checking their weight, checking their health, checking their teeth, checking their toenails. Yeah. And we've got Nick, who is obviously one of our new members of staff, so he's not done any like toenail trimming and stuff before. So it's just a bit of a lesson for him as well. And yeah, just to check these girls are all good if they need any medicines or yeah. hey, any girl. pedicures. So. Oh, We'll get catching them. So do you want me to round them up? Yeah, we'll start rounding them up. We'll just get a few in at a time and then I've got room to do their nails and things. Oh, they really awesome, eh? Oh, Lola. She says, don't touch that rope on my butt. There we go. So is this, have we got red? No, uh, we got red in, yeah, yeah. and wings. We've got babies and their mums in so they should be nice and happy yeah this is important just to keep an eye on them we try and make sure we're doing this at least like once a month really on each site each animal just to basically we're keeping medical records to check that their health is stable and that they're nice and healthy <laughs> but what we've done is me and terry have caught some of the girls and the babies so we're going to give them a bit of like a health care check so we're going to check their weight check their gums that they're a nice healthy color check their teeth check that it looks like you know they've got nice clean healthy eyes and then we're going to do a toenail check and today i'm going to show you how to trim their toenails which is exciting wings is one of our friendliest girls and this year uh, she's got a baby so she had her baby red in I want to say May, June last year. So this is little red, her baby. So because she's had a baby, which is a Korea, that's what our baby alpaca's called, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> but because she's had a Korea, we're expecting her weight to be lower than usual because she's put all her energy into producing milk, keeping that baby going. And Wings is actually kind of super extra amazing because she's fed two Korea this year because we also had another Korea born called Kitty and her mum couldn't really produce milk so Wings has actually had like an adopted twin so she has been feeding two babies this year which is amazing of her she's super good but when we're weight scoring uh, the first place we're looking is on their back so you've got their shoulder blades here and then obviously their spines coming along here and just after the shoulder blades we're feeling under their wool so if you give that a little feel there yeah awesome so from this we've learned hello wings we can feel a spine but we can't really feel each individual rib unless we're pushing quite hard so for me that is slightly underweight but not in a concern zone for wings because we know she's got two korea feeding off her so considering she's feeding two korea and obviously keeping herself fed that's not too bad so we'd say that's like a two straight so three. so i would class that as a two um yeah so two is a little bit underweight on the system you've got zero to five three is perfect so three is perfect weight you're not concerned they're super fit and healthy four is a little bit overweight so if they're a little bit overweight you're obviously looking at putting them on a bit of a diet five is if they had that flat back that i talked yeah. about so that's way overweight you you wanted to cut out any treat food they're on a weight watchers diet you're being pretty strict with them so the next thing is we're going to be giving them some medicines especially uh we've got a little baby here called red who's not been feeling too great so we're going to be giving her a multivit injection uh make her feel a little bit better. We're going to be giving all the alpacas some vitamin D, it's winter time, give them about five mil each, and we're going to be worming them. We're going to be worming them with ivermectin. They usually get about two mil each. And uh, if you listen to Joe Rogan, you can do people with this for COVID. 
So yeah, we're gonna crack on. So yeah, do you want to start doing toenails? Yes. So when we're doing toenails, if you want to get a pair of gloves, we just make sure we put gloves on because it basically stops getting all the mud of the alpacas onto our hands. Mm -hmm. And also um, it means if you want to get any mud out that you're not getting it all over your fingers and in your fingernails. So it just keeps things a little bit more hygienic. So if you pop some gloves on, feet. So I trim with my right hand all the time. I find it easy to put the guard on and off with one hand. So if you're happy with that, but it just takes a bit of practice. And then I tend to stroke down the leg from their shoulder. Then they know you come in. And then I pick up one foot and for wings at the moment, she's got leaves on her feet, a bit of mud. So I'm just removing all that so I can have a look at her foot itself. So with wings, foot, she's got her pad. So that's what you refer to as the pad. It's all this soft bit here. Wings's pads are pink. Some alpacas have black skin, so they either have like pink or black skin. So hers are pink, obviously a little bit muddy today. And then she's got one small callus here. So if you have a little look at that, that's not a concern for us, but it just means a hardened bit of skin. Often in winter time when it's dry and wet, they do get these calluses. But for us, that's not a concern. It's just something to keep an eye on that it doesn't get bigger. And then she's got her toenails here. So with the toenails, um, I'm kind of pulling the dirt out of them so I can see how much longer they are than her pad. So you can see here, they're quite a lot longer. They're probably about a centimetre over at the moment. So we're going to trim them. They grow in like a triangular shape. So when you're trimming them, you're taking the guard off. And then as long as you know you've got a nice steady hold of their foot, I'm going to trim from the side. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Can you just try and get pickles out for a second, Nick? So you're trimming at the side. So you want to trim side to side and one of wings is, is slightly bent. So you're making sure that you're not kind of accentuating any bends. You're trying to reduce them as much as possible. So with wings, I'm trimming them like that. And then they don't have to be really short, but you can see now they're a nice length. They're not growing over the foot. So we're happy with them. So that's perfect. So the next thing I'm doing is worming her for the year. And I'm going to be giving her ivermectin. So ivermectin goes at the bottom of their neck under their skin. So we pull, push in and two mil to their weight. One, two. Give it a rub and then last some vitamins. We'll give her five mil of vitamin D. And she knows how to hold her head because she loves a bit of vitamin D. There we go. And that's all sorted. Right, so guys, that was the basics into doing some toenails and some just some care of the alpacas, body scoring, <laughs> and some injections of vitamins and things like that. So yeah, I hope you got some out of it. If you did, if you haven't, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, we're going to be doing lots more videos like this. So to say, massive thanks to Ruby. Couldn't do any of this without Ruby. Um, she's awesome at looking after the alpacas. But you can say good things about me now. Uh, Terry can grow a beard. Oh yes. <laughs> So yeah, guys, we're going to finish off here. We're going to feed them, head back to the office and clean up. So yeah, catch you later. Thank you.
Everything's in order, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Can you not make it like we're on an episode of EastEnders? Fighting teeth, which are super sharp, and that would really hurt. It would cut into your finger. But RAF out. Checking up on us, checking that we're doing things right. It's Peter. So yeah. <laughs> Flying by. So in his guys, can you believe it? Free, free, free videos.